Hi, in this video I'll show you a little visualization tool for you to understand better how the perception learning algorithm works. The perception is a very simple supervised learning model that is used for binary classification. My goal here is not to explain to you why it works, but simply to give a visualization of it working alongside some pseudocode so you can hone your intuition and grasp better how it works. So the page is divided into four sections. The first is the description, the second are the controls, the third is the pseudocode, which will be updated in real time, and the fourth is the plot, which is where the action will be happening. So let's dive into how the plot works. Basically, the blue points belong to one class and the red points belong to the opposite class, because remember, the perception is a binary classification algorithm. The purple dashed line that separates the blue from the red is the target function that we're trying to learn. It's basically the function that was used to define which are the blue points and which are the right points. This is why it perfectly separates them. The perception itself is the black solid line, which as we can see is quite different from the purple line that we are trying to learn. This is because we have not begun training yet, so this is just the first guess for where the perception should be. An important thing to mention is that some points have this little gray outline to them. This means that the points are being currently misclassified by the perception. For example, this red point is being misclassified as blue, and on the other side of the perception, this blue point is being misclassified as red. On the upper right corner here, you can see the number of points that are being currently misclassified. Of course, the goal throughout the training is to reduce the number of misclassified points to zero, which would mean that the perception is successfully classifying correctly all the points in our dataset. So before I start this up, let me give you a brief explanation of the four lines in the pseudocode. The first one is initialization. We're initializing the weights with zero, the perception weights with zero, very simple. And the second, third, and fourth are all related to the while loop, while there are misclassified points. So basically, while training error is not zero, while training error is not zero, we will do two things. The first is to select a misclassified point xn, which is any of the points with the gray outline. And the second step is to update the weights using this formula. As I said, I won't be getting into why this is the formula, but basically it's the simple formula that we have to use to update the weights to move on the direction of this misclassified point. Okay, now that we have gone through all that, let's start this up, shall we? Here in the control section, you have three buttons, place, step, and reset. Let me click on step. Okay, nothing happened, but we move to the next pseudocode uh, line. So we have initialized the, the weights, and now we are entering the while loop. So the first step in the while loop is pick a misclassified point. Now you can see that one of the gray outline points, the one of them that was misclassified, has flashed green. This means that it is the XN that we have selected. And now we will move the perception towards this point using the formula that we have solved previously. So here you can see that it has moved quite dramatically towards the, the other way. But now the point that was misclassified is correctly classified, right? Um, so we have updated the weights, like in the pseudocode. So let's step one more time. Uh, the while check is still true because there are still misclassified points, as we can see. Uh, we can step uh, once more. We can see that another misclassified point was selected, a different one. We can update the weights towards it, and the perception moves. So nothing too impressive until now, right? So this is because we are just on the second iteration. And we can see here on the top of the, the top corner, top right corner of the plot, we can also see the, the iteration which we are on. So the second iteration. So you have basically understood, right, how the, the steps work. Now let's let me click on play and let it run for some time. 
yeah, as you can see is the, the line is dancing a little bit but uh, every time it's getting a little bit closer to the target function and it has reached the target function there are no misclassified points and the while loop the while check has been the card false and that's why it is red okay makes sense right and that's it that's basically how the perceptron visualization works there are some configurations that we can toy around with for example if you want to run the simulation again you can simply press the reset button and there's a quite fanciful animation of the the points rearranging themselves and the new target function being uh, generated right you can also change the number of points let put let's put a thousand here and there are many more points right and for example i don't know if you noticed but previously the target function was not on the same place as the final perception they were slightly different if you have more points this kind of stuff is a little bit more improbable right because to classify all points correctly you really need to to narrow down the, the target function another thing that we can do is to change up the generate linearly separable data right because for example let's toggle this off and then click reset now you can see that the the data set is not linearly separable that is that is not a target function a linear target function that can correctly classify all the points right so the perception can never achieve zero training error in this case we can click play here and see that the perception is never going to finish this perception at least there are other ways for the for the perception to handle non-linearly separable data for example you can simply stop it after a certain number of executions of, of iterations and get the the best perception until now but this the version of the perception that i'm showing here on this page doesn't have that capability so it's going to run indefinitely um that's basically it really uh, i hope that this visualization has helped you somewhat to understand how the perception works and if you liked it please leave a comment and tell me what you think thanks and have a great day